What's up, everybody? This is Aztec101 in the ring. And um, I want to talk about BKB boxing. That's a big knockout boxing. I know a lot of people have been getting it uh, mixed up and, and calling it bare knuckle boxing, but no. Um, it's known as a uh, big knockout boxing. And I, I think they used to use a different type of glove, but because uh, the fight with Gabriel Rosado and Brian Vera was in Vegas, they had to use you know the standard boxing gloves. Um, and I hope they just keep it that way. But other than that, the concept, I really enjoy the concept of BKB boxing. You have pretty much, I mean, it's the same thing. A square circle really doesn't matter. The only difference is, is that there's no corners. It's a circle. There's no corners and uh, no ropes. So there really isn't that security for the boxer when he's stepping back. There isn't that security knowing that you have, you know, these ropes that are there that are going to hold you. And, you know, a lot of boxers have been using ropes uh, as part of their defense because, you know, to me, ropes have always been an unnatural element in boxing. Uh, you don't really find ropes out in nature as often as you would find a wall, right? So, you know, you can go out into any parking lot, any street, any alley, and pretty sure you, you're, you're going to find a wall. I mean, most likely you can find a, a, a fence, right? So the cage, it seems like a realistic um, environment. But when you add ropes, well, I mean, how often do you ever see ropes? When do you ever really lean on ropes? You really don't do that. So it's always, when you look at it, it's very unnatural. And, and it's, it's, it's put into boxing. And boxers can fight along the ropes, but okay. You can really only do that in the ring. You know, and the fact that they take that element away, it just, to me, it makes it seem like a little bit more of a realistic fight. I mean, the ropes, they, 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 they're, they're unnatural. They, they give, they're not like a wall where they're just vertical and you lean on it and that's it. No, no, like this, a rope, you lean on it and it gives. Um, you're able to lean back, confident, knowing that the ropes are still going to support your weight and um, you're not going to fall. And, you know, I, I think that, you know, seeing how fighters fight along, you know, let's say a cage, I mean, what happens when you take all that away? It's almost like a karate competition and um, or taekwondo or something like that where it's just on a mat. No wall, no nothing. And I like that. I enjoy that. I think that's awesome. The way that they have it set up, the, 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 the arena, it just seems modern. It's innovative. Um, I hope that they're able to maintain it with just, you know, one champion for that organization. Hopefully they don't start having too many champions out there like the way we have boxing now. And a lot of us have been complaining about the way boxing has been. And, you know, if, if BKB boxing could be another option... Because us as boxing fans, we're not going to give up the sport, but we are going to look other ways to see what we can satisfy that, that craving that we want, you know. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, if, if, if BKB boxing can give that to us, then cool. But, you know, obviously, I want to see bigger names try out this environment. I want to see Canelo. I want to see Triple G. I want to see... Um, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr., you know, Mayweather. Let's see how he reacts to fighting in a ring with no ropes. You know what I mean? What will happen? I mean, it, it it's not an advantage or a disadvantage for any particular fighter. It's just, it's not. I mean, a, a come-forward aggressive fighter can no longer corner, you know, his opponent. Because there's no corners. It's a circle. You know, a, 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 a defensive fighter cannot rely on leaning up against the ropes. No, he's going to have to move and fight for the center of the ring. Because the center of the ring is the safest place to be in that, in that arena. And it's, it's awesome. 
it's awesome. It forces them to come in together and fight in the center of the ring. Fight for that center of the ring. And if you are caught along the edge, it forces you to box out of it. There's just more boxing in less amount of time. And the the concept, like I see it and I, I, I fully, I, I enjoy it. It's just going to be a matter of whether they can get the right level of fighters, an elite fighter in that ring can really put on a show. Two elite fighters in that ring can really put on a good show. If Algeri versus uh, Pacquiao was in that ring, I think it would be a really exciting fight. Alright? And, um, this is, I mean, this is going to be, this is going to be just something that we we have at least at least it's an option at least you know there's going to be a lot of people out there that are purists you know they're purists they're not going to want to change the way boxing is and they're just going to want to keep it the same way and and they they probably won't even like BKB which is fine which is fine but most of us can agree that there are certain things in boxing we don't like you know certain things we just don't like and there's a reason for that. We have the right to say something. Because we purchase these fights for the most part. And since we can do since since now, you know, if if there is an option where maybe there's only one champion, maybe they actually force their champion to fight the number one contenders where you know, they reward boxers and fighters, and they don't tolerate excessive holding or running. That's awesome. That's great. As a consumer, yeah. Are you telling me you're going to guarantee, you're going to try to guarantee me a big knockout? And you're going you're, you're, you're gonna to make the fight more exciting, and you're going to pack in more fights into one night? As a consumer, fuck it. I'm sold. I'm sold. Let me just see. I just got to see. I want to see bigger name fighters in that ring. Um, but I think that will develop. I want to know what you guys think. Uh, do you Have you seen a fight, a BKB fight? If you haven't, I really recommend that you go check one out. Go check out Gabriel Sal versus Brian Vera. There's others out there, but... I really recommend that you guys go check this out because um, it's it's an interesting concept that I'm excited for. And, you know, I just want to know what you guys think and I want to put the word out there. I want people talking about it. It's worth it. I see good things with this. This is Aztec 101 in the ring and I'm out.